Good morning, dear students. I hope you all are doing well, aren't you? We have been learning about class 6 computer science. As we already know, computer is an electronic machine which can carry out n number of activities. The most powerful computers can perform extremely complex tasks, which includes simulating nuclear weapon experiments and predicting the development of climate change and so on. Some of you might be in the field of computers in your future. And so, it is always better to start from the basics. Let us begin. We have been learning about Unit 1, Introduction to Computers. The objectives of this unit are computer, a machine, parts of a computer, features of a computer. Okay? We learned that computer is an electronic machine which can perform various activities. In, in the parts of a computer, we have learned about hardware, software, and humanware. In features of computer, we have learned about features such as high speed, accuracy, large memory, diligence, versatility, and logical decisions. And today, we are going to learn about the IPU system, input, process, and output system. Input system accepts the data from computer. Process unit or process system works with the received data. An output unit gives out the result. This is the block diagram of a computer. Here you can see input unit, central processing unit and output unit. In central processing unit, you can see three divisions, memory unit, control unit, and arithmetic and logic unit. Input unit accept the data into computer. So the definition would be the devices which accepts data into computer is called as input unit. We use keyboard, mouse, scanner, trackball, joystick, light pen, digital camera, etc. to give instructions to the computer. Central processing unit carries out all the calculations of a computer. It works like our brain. So it is called as the brain of the computer. It has three parts mounted within the cabinet. They are ALU, Arithmetic Logic Unit, CU, Control Unit, and MU, Memory Unit. Arithmetic and Logic Unit takes care of all sorts of arithmetic and logic operations. It involves addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It can be represented by symbols like plus, minus, asterisk, and forward slash. Asterisk symbol is on for multiplication and forward slash symbol is on for division. Now we need to learn about control unit. Control unit controls all the other parts of the computer. It regulates the transfer of data from one unit to the other units like input, output, and CPU. The major responsibility of control unit is to direct the data and instruction from input unit to other units, interpretation of received data into control signals, directing the data and instruction to the ALU whenever required, transferring the processed information from ALU to the memory, transferring the processed information from memory to the output device. So anyway, the transferring of data from one unit to another unit is a major function of control unit. Okay. And apart from that, it uh, 
interpret the received data into control signals okay likewise it controls almost all the other process which takes place in computer and finally we have memory unit memory unit is classified into primary and secondary memory primary memory includes ram and rom random access memory and read only memory in secondary memory we use floppy disk hard disk magnetic tape magnetic disk compact disk or cd etc okay that's all for today the rest of the chapters will be covered in the forthcoming classes okay so stay healthy stay happy and stay safe learn well happy learning